Hey guys, down in my latest research and development world, I am working on an automated um, vending machine interface using CC Tweet computers to do a lot of work. You can see it here, it's got three buttons, up, down, menu, up, down, and select. I can click on them and I can select, go through the different menus, here, and um, eventually complete an order and have an item delivered from the vending machine. It's broken largely into two parts, the service and the delivery parts. Um, I'm using some funky stuff here to transmit the button presses to this neat little bit of redstone logic to get a specific strength signal back into my computer so that I can um, process the input based on the stone levels rather than having um, trying to have a myriad of redstone signals coming in which would be almost impossible. I mean you could do it but um, it would just be a bit messy uh, um, and this is well I guess no probably no it would be messy because getting redstone out of the wall the buttons is close is really quite difficult. So this is a neat solution um, also, it's comprised of some monitors and uh, modems and the computer there, the internet cable, so it can communicate. Um, and delivery is just some ch at the moment it's just some chests, but it could be any any sort of machinery you can connect up to a modem. Um, and which is virtually everything. Um, let's have a look at the code. Just um, make that visible. There it is. Uh, okay, so this is the service, the serve code. We have um, the channel that we're going to be communicating. It's all done by Wi-Fi comms to the delivery the ordering system, the ordering processing is done by Wi-Fi. Um, we have some information about the orders that are placed, um, information about how the menus are navigated. Here's the menu definitions, a bunch of widgets uh, which with a widget per line. You only have 18 characters wide and 12 characters high. Uh, on this dual monitor setup, uh, which is tiny. You can make this text half that size, but it's very hard to read. Anyway, so a bunch of widgets with um, um, arguments for buttons. So it basically it's text, blank, item, and button type widgets with some arguments to tell them what to do. So that for example, the buttons have uh, the label the um, group and um, a um, custom value and flags whereas the items just have the group and the custom value um, that's all the def definitions there for each page of the menu um, I'm talking about certain lists of things, so here's some lists of things, some f um, four declarations, display the menu, display the menu, uh, custom buttons, button customizations, navigations, navigating the menu, up, um, also navigating menus, so going there's a stack. 
um, that I can you can go to the next menu, na navigate to the next menu, and then go back with a back button to the previous menu. So there's a stack. Select an item, a uh, widget on the menu, a button. Select a button. Select a page. Reset to navigation. Here's all the um, the code that handle this particular scenario. So there's a generic code up above in this particular scenario where we are delivering signs. We are requesting a sign and getting a sign uh, of different colors and materials. Um, okay, so now the ordering. It's, like I said, it's done by Wi-Fi, so it might be good to start at the bottom. We have this wait for any initialization. Um, open a channel for rec uh, receiving and um, wait for any on these two threads. Uh, a thread to handle um, events from the modem and a thread to handle reading the redstone levels and also just updating the menu. Um, there's some handling and error, so we get messages about failed orders. <sighs> failed orders are displayed in a list on the screen. Okay, that's it. Now the delivery code, this is, this is not really complete yet, and this is m the m code that's m most going to change. Um, we got the communication stuff. We got how we get things and put things uh, from and a failure message. Decoder order. So we get a message and we decode decode it. We start at the bottom here. Thread comms. We're gonna do check for a message over and over again. When we get a message, we decode it into order number and order details and we supply that order if possible otherwise we report an error might be useful to see this code at the side here so that's standard that's boilerplate code there okay so that is all pretty complicated Let's, um, what's with it? We've got, uh, we've already got a red wood sign and a um, blue canvas sign. Let's get a red canvas sign. So we need to modify our order. And select our type. And then it says canvas. So we've got a red canvas sign order on order. Order number 105, and we have it. There we have it, a red canvas sign. And the menu times out after two minutes, and we go to start, or we can just click in and start again. That's all. Thanks for watching.